With the frights and sprites of the forest behind him, Mickey faced the next part of his quest with renewed courage. Ah, the grumpy old oak tree. Like all of Miserable's illusions, he was no friend to Mickey. gem was finally his. Now it was time for our hero to move on. Exploring the castle halls, Mickey now had one of the rainbow gems that would help him save Minnie. But he knew there were more to find, and the Masters of Illusion would not give them up without a fight. Into a new corner of the Castle of Illusion ran Mickey. But what was that odd green box? It seemed chillingly familiar. The Jack in the Box, of course! Oh no! And now I'm in trouble! rainbow gem. Mickey's heart swelled with renewed hope, but the quest to save Minnie was far from over.
The second rainbow gem was safely gathered, but Mickey had no time to congratulate himself. Another five gems and many were yet to be found. Started hither and yon for safety, but found none. Suddenly, the entire chamber flooded. Had our hero's luck finally run out? You see, this was the lair of the third master of illusion. Seeing double? No, there truly were two of them. gang of these green killed guppies. The yellow rainbow gem. Reward indeed for such courage and cunning. Mickey thought of Minnie. Once he had all the gems, he'd build a rainbow bridge straight to his sweetheart. Ms. Rebel was surely shaking in her boots by now. Mickey had the third rainbow gem, and he was determined to get the other four. Mickey braced himself for the next sugar-coated shock from this confectionery world. He didn't have long to wait. A gigantic red licorice dragon emerged from the melted ice cream. This was the fourth master of illusion.
blue rainbow gem in hand, there were only two more to find. And then Mickey could search for the most precious jewel of all, his sweetheart, Minnie. Mickey had managed to secure both the fourth and fifth rainbow gems. But was he running out of time? Could he still get to Minnie before it was too late? At the top of the clock tower, Mickey thought the danger of being squished was finally over. Unfortunately, he'd thought wrong. The oafish clockmaker was the final master of illusion. hour of terror was at an end. The final violet gem was Mickey's. Next stop, Minnie. Finally, Mickey had acquired all the rainbow gems. Now he could cross the rainbow bridge and save his dearest Minnie. to the castle battlements raced Mickey. An eerie chill overcame him as he beheld the tall tower. He knew it was the heart of Miserable's power.
Was Mickey too late to save his beloved Minnie? Or was there still hope? dazed. But for how long? Suddenly, Mickey had an idea. What if he launched the rainbow gem at the witch? It might be his one and only chance. Take that! Time seemed to freeze for a moment before the gem burst into a cascade of rainbow light, filling every inch of the tower. No! But I wanted to be the fairest of them all! It was the cruel witch's turn to be trapped and powerless, encased in the spreading light. The terrible spell was broken. Minnie was free at last, and Miserable wilted and shriveled back to her true form. Minnie threw her arms around Mickey, and as he hugged her, he vowed never to let her go again. Oh! 
Jim! Mickey! What's happening? The castle was crumbling, but Mickey couldn't see a way out. What was this? Ms. Rebel was helping them escape? Mickey didn't have time to consider if this was another trick. Whoa. Mickey and Minnie each held on to a broomstick and flew for their lives. <laughs> Ms. Rebel had wisdom enough to know when she was defeated and why that was so. She had learned that there's a magic more powerful than any she had ever used. Mickey and Minnie knew it well, and even after what she had put them through, they shared its secrets with her. Now, Miserable's heart was filled with a different kind of magic. The magic of love. Aww. Oh. Aww. <laughs> now, where were we? The end. <laughs>